New tonight, a teacher says a Charlotte charter school fired him over a book in his lesson plan. Now he's suing, claiming racial discrimination. Channel 9's Hunter Signs reviewed the lawsuit against Charlotte Secondary School. He's joining us live tonight. Hunter, this lawsuit says that the principal had actually approved that book, but it did not sit well with some parents. Yeah, Erica, that's right. This is the book we're talking about. It's called Dear Martin, and on the inside of the cover, it says this book, quote, boldly tackles American race relations. But that local charter school teacher says because he used this book in his curriculum, even after it was approved, he claims he was fired for it, and now he's suing. Markel Gray is suing Charlotte Secondary School, a charter school just off Monroe Road, after he says he was fired for using this book in his lesson plans for his seventh grade English class during Black History Month. You're not surprised in these times by these kinds of cases. Artur Davis is an employment attorney representing Gray. He says the Dear Martin book, which is about a black teen who is racially profiled and arrested and then symbolically writes Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., was approved to use by the school's principal. And according to the lawsuit, it was the principal who, quote, recommended the novel to Gray as a challenging but age-appropriate work that promoted a discussion of core American values like justice and equality. If people can debate what ought to be taught in school. People can debate what principal ought to be authorizing. But once the principal and the school authorize a book, a teacher should not be fired for following the guidance of their principal. The lawsuit claims in January, quote, white parents began to raise complaints to school administrators that the content in Dear Martin was divisive and injected unwelcome political views on systemic racial inequality. Davis says Gray was fired in February. Today, the attorneys for the school told us since it's a personnel issue, there's little they can say about this. But they did say, quote, that the termination of Mr. Gray's employment was based on legitimate, non-discriminatory, non-retaliatory reasons. Now today, the school's principal also told me this book is still allowed to be used at that charter school so long as it follows ELA standards for that grade level. Meanwhile, Gray wants back pay, front pay, and he also wants lost benefits and more. Live outside the federal courthouse in Uptown, Hunter Signs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Hunter, thank you. The Dear Martin book was taken off the required reading list for Haywood County Schools after a parent there complained about profanity in the book. The News and Observer reports the book was also challenged in Wake County Schools, but that district decided to continue using it.